Gladys says the traffic's tripled on our road since I moved here. All those guys cruising the property line, trying to see me. Yeah, I like to show them, too. Whenever I saw a four by four, my Hi. pussy got wet. Tell me how to get to Even if it was just an old uh, man. This road about one kilometer, second road on your left. <laughs> Sometimes they'd stop and ask me the way to Highway 512. Did they think I was stupid? I'd give them directions to the dump, and they'd laugh. They talk about me all the time here, but I couldn't care less. It's as beautiful as heaven here, but sometimes it gets boring. The nearest dike bar is at least 100 miles away, and the only videos they have at the general store are with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'd rather burn my house down than watch that. The men around here are in good shape. All those piles of wood and hammering. It's not that dangerous, though, because I can control their behavior with telepathy. They never suspect a thing. He let me know right away he was available for other jobs. Boy, that wall's real level now. I told him the wall looked level, but my telepathic message was, I'd love to have sex with you. I never do, though. I just get them to do the work and use them for research for my article. So what if his balls ache? He's a man. He deserves it. I needed to run some tests on groups of men, so that night I dressed up like a deer and went to the bar and sang love songs for the hunters. I'm a mean, mean woman. I don't mean no one man, no good, no. I'm a mean. In their blaze orange, they look like fires burning in the dark room and their eyes were shining like they were on heroin. I just treat them like I want to. I never treat them, honey, like I should. When the bar closes, 
They'll go home and try to fuck their wives. I'm doing them a big favor. Around here, everything is she. Looks like she's gonna rain. She just wouldn't turn over. That oughta do her. Me, the weather, the trucks, and all the insulation in the universe are one united and powerful force. That biker is a force of nature too, but further down the food chain. Carpenter said, what's he doing here? I said, I don't know. But of course, I did know. As soon as the carpenter walked around back, that biker tried to kiss me. face, but I also gave him a contradictory telepathic message because he turns me on. He'll be back. Most people don't know this about me, but I'm a deeply religious person. If I wasn't constantly tempted by men, I'd have a good chance to be a saint. The only women I really respect are prostitutes and lesbians. I'm not a separatist, though. It would be boring if there were no men around at all. And who would put up the drywall? Me? I doubt it. Angel eyes that old devil sent. They glow unbearably bright. Need I say that my love's been misspent, misspent with angel eyes tonight? Pardon me, but I gotta run. The facts uncommonly clear. Got to find out who's number one and why my angel lies ain't here. Excuse me while I I was worried about my article. Was my research superficial? Were the results conclusive? Did I do enough tests? I needed more proof. Suddenly, I had an inspiration. I could have an orgy 
and invite all my guests telepathically. I'd have sex with whoever showed up and study the relation between sensory and non-sensory receptivity. Everyone would find out that I was really a slut, but I'd do anything to advance my academic career. I decided to invite that carpenter, the biker, and the chimney sweep who installed my stove. I got him to split a cord of wood for me and ran some tests on him. He was above average. And my neighbor, the farmer's daughter. I haven't told you about her yet. I seduced her last summer for her 18th birthday. But she wasn't so interesting to talk to, so I dumped her. I sent telepathic invitations a week in advance and subsequent messages every day. On the day of the orgy, I took a bath and didn't masturbate. My first guest arrived. It was a teenage girl, and she even had the pan of brownies I asked her to bring along. I licked her pussy for a long time. She was driving me crazy. I was begging her to fuck me. That biker didn't know what hit him. He was so telepathic, I just told him what I wanted, and he did it. I used him like a whore, and he loved it. The girl was really upset that I'd invited a man over. She's a lesbian now. She ran out of the house, crying her eyes out. No one else ever showed up. I don't know if they didn't get my messages, or they were busy, or what. I told him I didn't want to see him again, and that if he told anybody about tonight, I'd press rape charges and put him in jail for a while. He didn't like that very much. I spent the entire day at the computer rewriting my article. It was so brilliant, I decided to miss my deadline on purpose and sell it for more money to the nature of things. I tried to make him leave through telepathy, but it didn't work this time. He wiped his bloody hand on his jeans and said, Don't worry, I'll measure it and put new glass in tomorrow. Don't worry. I'll put new glass in tomorrow.
He wouldn't stop. I didn't tell him to do it, but I didn't tell him not to do it either. When he put his hand down my jeans and touched my pussy, it was so wet, I was embarrassed. He told me I was a slut, and then he fucked me from behind. He wouldn't even stop so I could save my document. My face was close to the monitor. I noticed I made a spelling mistake. I spelt television with one eye. Before he left, he told me that he didn't care about the girl, but if he ever caught me with that carpenter or any other guy around here, it would be a problem. A problem. It was fucking freezing the next morning. I was beginning to think I'd made a big mistake. Just because he's the most telepathic doesn't mean I have to be his girlfriend. I began to remember why I didn't have sex with men. But then I began to remember why I did. I started thinking about that chimney sweep in Renfrew. It's a 45 minute drive to Renfrew. Everybody else lived a lot closer. Maybe I should have phoned to invite him. Men are such a problem. Fortunately, I'm off at the end of the week for the lecture circuit. By the time I get back, maybe that biker will have forgotten all about me. Just like my neighbor's dog. After I've been away for a few weeks, he barks at me like I was a complete stranger. Them that's got shall get, them that's not shall lose. So the Bible says, and it still is news. Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child that's got her own, that's got her own. Rich relations give crust of bread and such. You can help yourself. But don't take too much. Mama may have. Papa may have. But God bless the child that's got her own. That's got her own. God bless the child. God bless the child that's got her own.